It's that time again, baby. It's spider season. We got a brand new movie and some news on that highly anticipated video game. And both are looking to be fantastic. And of course, with all this recent news in typical Aiden Elf fashion, I'm not talking about any of those. Spider-Man cartoons, baby! I don't think it would exactly be a controversial statement if I were to say that Spider-Man cartoons are fucking awesome. You look at this lineup and there's so many goddamn classics. The 90s animated series featuring one of the best Spidey voice actors, Christopher Daniel Barnes as Peter, spanning so many areas of the character's history and overall just being a big presence in my childhood. Spider-Man Unlimited, a weird, techie, and futuristic take on Spider-Man with a sick-ass synthwave soundtrack and vibes that are just unmatched. And of course, Spectacular Spider-Man. What some would call the most perfect, well-rounded, and overall best adaptation of the character for a show that ultimately got cut short way too soon. And that's it, there are no more Spider-Man shows. They, they never made another one after Spectacular. Can you believe it? There was never another Spider-Man show ever. And if you had a gun to my head and I had to pick a favorite out of all these animated Spidey-Man, I think it goes without saying which one is my ultimate favorite. Of course, it's gotta be 60s Spider-Man being a little trickster today. <laughs> the 60s Spider-Man cartoon, aptly titled Spider-Man, is so fucking funny. I grew up with Tass and Spectacular about as much as the next guy, but 60s Spider-Man was one of my first introductions to the character. Hold on, I gotta focus, I'm shifting into Canada mode. Back in the day, Teletoon Retro would air this show every day after school, and it was amazing. Get it? Yeah, like, like the comic. This show is such a treat. It's home to some of the funniest and most infamous Spider-Man content, but outside of a few mainstream memes, this show just kind of flies under people's radars. So today, because this show just deserves it so much, and also because I need content like, like really, really badly, we're gonna sit back and watch some good old Spidey. Now, normally I would give you guys one episode to really sink my teeth into, but we haven't had a video bomb in a while, so I'm gonna give you guys two episodes of Spider-Man today. Maybe we'll even learn a little something along the way. Probably not though, it's, it's Spider-Man. This episode begins with Spider-Man robbing a museum. That doesn't make sense. Wait, one, two, carry three. Wait a minute! Spider-Man doesn't do that! This could only be the work of one mysterious Spider-Man villain. Venom. Wait a minute, zoom in! This shit is a belt?! I've been a Spider-Man fan for like 15 years, and this is the first time I've ever seen this thing used as a belt. Only important stuff on the Aiden L agenda today. This whole episode revolves around Spider-Man attempting to clear his name after being framed by my personal favorite Spider-Man villain, Mysterio. Good here, Spider-Man. You've been busted by the great Mysterio. The police obviously plan to arrest Spider-Man for his heinous crimes, and this is where Spidey proves himself as the dumbest superhero of all time. His grand escape plan from the police involves him jumping down a manhole, running in a circle, and jumping back up to where, surprisingly, the police are still there. But don't worry, Spider-Man can get himself out of any predicament. Well, I mean, most of them. So he jumps onto the train tracks and gets his fucking foot stuck in the train track. But not to worry, Spider-Man can get himself out of any predicament. During all this, Mysterio begins plotting his most dastardly deed yet. He calls up J. Jonah Jameson to deliver a genius proposition. J. Jonah Jameson here. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. What? I'm horny as fuck, man. I'm a freak, man. Like, freak. Mysterio promises to rid the world of Spider-Man for a small amount of cash from Jameson. So him and Spider-Man meet up on the Brooklyn Bridge and shit goes down. Spider-Man shoots a web at Mysterio. Mysterio evades it. So he shoots two webs at Mysterio and he evades them. So Spider-Man uses his special move, the super jump, and he flies off the bridge. But it was merely a distraction, you see. What Mysterio wasn't ready for was Spider-Man's real special move, the spooky dance. Ooh. But unfortunately, it's not enough, and Mysterio defeats Spider-Man with the power of a moderate amount of smoke, and it causes Spider-Man to take his own life in a tragic event. What an action sequence, man. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. After the battle, Mysterio gets his prize for defeating Spider-Man. Half a dollar. That's more than the budget of this show! 
I swear, this show is made with six doubloons in a dream. I can't even tell you how many times this fucking show uses the same loop of Spider-Man swinging around the city. This show was made trying to use as little movement as possible to keep the budget small and, yeah, you can tell. Like in this scene when Mysterio goes to talk to Jameson. Yup, this is how I listen to people when they talk. Okay guys, I'm gonna come clean. I lied. Spider-Man didn't die on the bridge, he's right here! I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Spidey's brilliant plan is to place a comically large tracking device on Mysterio's cape in the hopes that he somehow won't notice. He doesn't. Anyway, Spider-Man beats up Mysterio and kills him. I don't know, this episode's fine. It's, it's not really crazy. It's definitely better than most of the show. I can, I can say that with confidence. It's, 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 it's... It's, it's, it's good Spider-Man. I give it the Spider-Man thumbs up, the special Spider-Man thumbs up. It was a good episode. I liked it, kind of. Oh my lucky stars, what's that? A segue to the next episode? Wow! This episode begins with Spider-Man robbing a museum, but it's actually an imposter. So Spider-Man has to spend the episode clearing his name for a crime he didn't commit. Wait a minute. Okay, I swear to God, when I picked these episodes, I had no idea that they would feature the exact same plot. This episode follows Charles Cameo, a villain who definitely isn't based on the chameleon, as he tries to slander the Daily Bugle by impersonating Peter Parker and stealing a rare book from the accurately named Museum of Rare Books. But he doesn't do it alone, he does it with the help of iconic Spider-Man villain, Brutus the Henchman. They're pulling out all the fucking stops. Spidey gets his fucking shit rocked and when he tries to stop another crime by the duo, he gets defeated with the power of colorful paint. This episode is just a non-stop cycle of Spider-Man being a bumbling fucking idiot at the scene of a crime and getting blamed by Jameson for having the artifact stolen, which honestly isn't even wrong because he got defeated by a camera. Spider-Man then follows Jameson to pick up a statue, but in a shocking turn of events, Jameson was ready for his ass and pulls out a fucking gun and kills him in the middle of the street. I'm just kidding. Spider-Man, and you're never gonna get this, goes to another crime scene and fucks it up by being a bumbling fucking idiot again. The Jameson that busted a cap in his ass was Charles again and Spidey knows this, so this time he captures Jameson and using his special power of giving mustaches a cute little tickle, he discovers that this Jameson is the real one and he's been gadzooked again. Give it up, I know it's you under that mask, Rhino. Ow. Ow. Wallop and web snappers, this is real. Okay, I'm gonna cut the shit. You all know where this is going. This is the episode with the fucking meme, guys. It's the meme episode. Meme time. Woo! 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 Can I be honest? I fucking hate the Spider-Man pointing meme. It was cute at first, I guess, when it was a goofy little Twitter image to say like, hey, we have the same profile picture or you're just like me. You know, whatever. But then Marvel caught wind and now they've been using it as their automatic laugh <laughs> button because it's in everything. Insomniac recreated it. They did it in the first Spider-Verse movie. I, I actually like it in this one. It's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. They did it like four times in No Way Home. They did it in the new Spider-Verse. They even put it in fucking Fortnite. All the emotes you could have done for fucking Spider-Man and you do the fucking pointing. Pointing. He points. Wow, what an emote, guy. Spider-Man fans are the easiest people to please because all you gotta do is... <laughs> and if that's not bad enough, they made a fucking Funko Pop. It's double the price of a regular Funko and you get two of the same fucking Spider-Man figure for double the price. Wow, guys, you shouldn't have. How much of a fucking idiot do you have to be to spend actual adult money on this stupid fucking- I bought it. <laughs> this thing is so stupid. I, I, I spent money on this for, like, the video, because I thought it'd be, like, a goofy little, like, ha ha, see, I, I got a thing, but- it came in the mail and now I'm just like regretting it. I got my little Spider-Man mug because I thought it'd be like cute. But you hold a mug like this, or you hold a mug like this, but nobody holds a mug forward like this. So it's like stupid because I don't want a lizard mug. No one's like, oh shit, he's drinking from the lizard. What a fucking badass. This was $30, dude. I could have, I could have bought so much shit, <clears throat> but I, I bought, I bought two of the same fucking Spider-Man! It comes with- Oh, oh what the f- 
Is this a reference to the Spider-Man meme? Okay, guys, actually, they didn't rip me off. Okay, look, they're both different, see? They're using different hands. This changes everything. Okay, man, I'm not gonna lie. Like, now that I'm looking at it in person, it's kind of cool having, like, 60s Spider-Man merch, because this is, like, this is un- this is undebatably from the cartoon, because look, he doesn't even have his fucking- hold on, is this gonna focus? Dude, no fucking way. Look, it doesn't have the web things. I'll take a picture, I'll throw it up on screen. Here's the picture, look at that, guys! This is a stupid fucking video, it's so fucking stupid. I got very sidetracked there, everyone, I apologize. If there's one thing the Aiden L brand is known for, it's focus and consistency. This is a bruise on our reputation and it won't happen again. Uh, the rest of the episode, uh, I don't know, Spider-Man points at Spider-Man, and then he fights Spider-Man, and then Spider-Man wins after he beats Spider-Man. I don't know, man, this episode sucks dick. Uh, that's it, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. I can, I can try the Funko Pop again. Here it is. It's Funko Pop, yay. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider can Spins a web any size Catches seeds just like flies Look out, here comes the Spider-Man Is he strong? Listen, bud He's got radioactive blood Can he swing from a thread?